guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Look who I'm with! Me! <laughs> Standard! <laughs> we are away to a John Lewis event today. It's a beauty event. It's gonna be a socially distant event. We're not actually sure what it's gonna entail, but it has been fun getting here, I'll tell you that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to be little pigs and go to McDonald's first. And we fully regret it. It's the first time I've ever mm -hmm. regretted a McDonald's. I don't regret it. <laughs> it was really good. It was my like the one of the best McDonald's I've had in ages, <laughs> but it took a bloody age to get, to get to our table. And we thought we were gonna be late. Yeah, we managed, to, we ended up scoffing it in like 10 minutes. Not even that, honestly, not yeah, even Yeah, maybe that. like seven minutes. Um, <laughs> and it was great. I actually really much enjoyed it. It was actually such a good McDonald's, but we're probably gonna be feeling ill for it now. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, today we're off to John Lewis and um, we'll take you around with us. Honestly, no idea what to expect so I can't really get to learn about the, the new makeup look in. There we go. <laughs> so we'll take you along with us um, and you'll learn as we learn essentially because we don't know either. I'm quietly proud of us right now. We were meant to be here for 20 past. It is 19 minutes past. We're so, so good. It. We're never on time for anything. Mm -hmm. Always late for events <laughs> because we get sidetracked doing other things like speaking to cameras or eating McDonald's. <laughs> or eating McDonald's, yep. Yeah. Uh, we did it, we are here on time. I don't know how we've done it, but we've done it and I'm proud of us. <laughs> just home from the John Lewis Pete event. Oh my goodness, it was actually such a nice evening. It was like a socially distanced event, obviously, so we were in little groups. It was a nice intimate gathering of bloggers. Usually it's a big event where, you know, we're all mingling amongst each other and obviously that wasn't really what could be done this time. So we were all split up into little groups. It was me, Holly and another girl in our group. And we went round little stations where we got little chats with some of the John Lewis partners, which was really nice. So it started off, our group started off Liz Earl. The lady at Liz Earl was so nice. She talked us through their best products, so the clean, cleanse and polish, which I'm sure you've probably all heard of or tried. Um, I've definitely tried it before, I quite like it. Toner, yeah, they've got a spritz toner, which is really cool. And she, you can like use it all over your body if you wanted to. It was so refreshing. Um, I think I might get that. It was, I don't know what's going on with my camera today, but it's not coping, not coping when I move. But yeah, that was really nice. Um, Liz Earl is just such a nice thing. The Christmas gift sets and stuff, they're all so, so pretty to look at that I think it would be a lovely Christmas present for somebody like skincare or is trying to, that is trying to get into skincare, for example. I think it's quite a good price point as well. It's not like crazy expensive, but it's not like your budget skincare either. It's kind of like a mid range, high end, I would say. It's not as much as like you'd be in, for example, in Dior for skincare. It lasts a good amount of time as well. I've had the cleanse and polish and you get a good amount in the ball. So yeah, I'd recommend that. Um, moving on, we went to Bobby Brown. So that was the Bobby Brown stall. That was with Holly, not my Holly. The Holly was the girl who taken it. And she talked us through brows, like where you should position your brows and probably I should listen because my brows are always a mess. <laughs> Um, they never match, for example. Mine's are more acquaintances, we'll say that. So she talked through brows, showed us some of their Christmas products. Again, oh my God, packaging for their Christmas products. So nice this year. And she was talking about how like they've got this like jelly sort of eyeshadows and they look really nice. You can imagine they'd be quite long lasting on the eyes as well. So that's definitely something you should check out if you're in a Bobbi Brown stall. Moving on, we went to the Dior stall, and again, the, the lady there was so lovely. She was so enthusiastic about what she was doing. She obviously loves her job. I mean, if you work with Dior products, <laughs> how could you not, really? There, again, we, it was all about the Christmas collection, and Dior always have a stunning Christmas collection. This year, it's all star-themed, and it's got, you'll see clips of where even the lipsticks have like snowflakes or stars on them the actual bullet got their christmas gift set which oh, i want it every single year basically you get a lipstick case and then 
however many lipsticks, I think it's like five or six, I can't remember exactly, but it comes in the gorgeous clutch case, which you could literally use as a bag. And then you have a Christian Dior bag. Do you know what I mean? It's something that I've always wanted for so long, but they're always sell out so quick. But it seemed like they did have them in store, which is really good. Um, in the Aberdeen store. So yeah, that was cool. I love the looks of the lipsticks. They're so nice. Again, in the Dior packaging, it was all star black with the gold stars. It's just so, so luxe. It's gorgeous. Yeah, if you're looking for Christmas presents this year, head down to like Dior, Lizaro, for example. It's just such nice products that I don't think you can go wrong with somebody that loves beauty, treating them to something nice like that. Uh, finally, we went to the GHD stall, which was run by Ellie. Ellie showed us how to curl with our GHDs. So that's actually the GHDs I have. Well, she was showing the newer version, but GHD Platinum. So she was showing us like the different sort of curls that you could create. So I'm definitely gonna try out because I always do the same sort of curls. I mean, they're pretty much gone now, but um, I always do the same sort of curls. So I'm gonna definitely try out some of her techniques, holding the styler certain ways and try up some, try up some different styles. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure you really care. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a really nice event. Everyone's so lovely, John Lewis. They make you feel so welcome. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, John Lewis, for having us again. It was a really nice night. It was great to chat to everyone and it's a nice way to spend an evening, to be honest. I think I've definitely got some Christmas ideas now, which is great. I haven't thought of Christmas presents up till now. Um, I've kind of forgot Christmas was a thing. I've just been so busy. So yeah, it'll be nice to start the Christmas shopping, I suppose definitely got some ideas. I mean also John Lewis completely spoiled us. We got to come home with a goodie bag full of stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a few of my favourite bits that I think that I'm definitely excited to try. I can give you reviews and things like that. When I do try it I thought these were really cute. At the GHD stall she gave us some Kirby's in their own little GHD pouch. How sweet is that? Look! <laughs> I have some GHD Kirby's now. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Kirby's though. I think that was so sweet. I also got this. So it's a Bobbi Brown mascara, which again, is not gonna come in wrong. Smoky Eye mascara, which I'm actually running out of mascara. So that is gonna be perfect. And I love that that's a little travel size as well. So, I mean, we're not going on holiday right now, but, but you know, maybe it'll become my new favorite mascara. Who knows? Excited to give that a go. I've got a little molten brown shower gel, which is so cute. And this is in Geranium Nefertum. I hope I'm saying that okay. Yeah, I've never had anything molten brown before. But yeah, I have probably more creams than I know what to do with. <laughs> creams, got cleansers, a few serums, which like all this stuff is all this sort of stuff I'm actually running out of. And my skincare is becoming so low and I've not started repurchasing anything yet. So this has just topped up my collection. I'm very, very chuffed. I've got a little, a little Lancome lipstick. How cute is this? Eee! I feel so beauty blogger. Yeah, this is in the shade 505 Drama, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's just 505, I don't know. Going back to 505. And I mean, red used to be my absolute signature, so. We're definitely gonna get that out over Christmas. Love it. I don't think I've ever had anything Lancome, so I'm very excited for that. Another thing I'm really excited for is the Becca um, First Light Priming Filter. I actually use um, the Becca Backlight Priming Filter as my priming product. So I'm excited to give this one a go um, and see how it compares. This is a lavender hued priming filter. Okay, interesting. So I suppose it's got a little bit of a colour correcting sort of a thing to it. I've got like perfume samples and foundation samples from Bobbi Brown. I've got Dior. I am a kid out, honestly. This little primer as well from Bobbi Brown, which, how sweet. Oh, ooh. Vitamin enriched face base is what it's called. All in one primer and moisturiser. So it's a bit of one and, one and all. So, you know, if you're on the go and don't want to waste time putting on two products, you can just shove that on and you're good to go. I've got a little... Shiseido kit. So in here we've got a serum, eye definer, which I think must be, yeah, eye cream because I'm actually running out. But we've got more creams. I've got a lipstick. So again, I think this is red as well. I am kitted out for red lipstick, guys. And I've never tried. Oh, I love that packaging. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? 
Ooh, that's a deeper red. Mm, yeah. Last one was like proper classic red and this is more like blood red. This is like virgin. This is very much got blue undertones to it. I love that. Ooh, how Christmassy is that? That's one of their modern matte power lipsticks in exotic red. Yeah. That's kind of some of the top little bits that I, I got on my goodie bag that I'm very excited to try it all. Oh, one last thing. Sorry, how could I forget? It's a little Hermes perfume in a little bobble box. You could hang it from your Christmas tree. And now I've shown you the actual bobble, we're gonna break into it. Guys, I own something Hermes. How cute is that? Can you see that? It's got like a star design on it. That is some, that is some sample. How nice is that? How gorgeous would that be for a Christmas present? Take, giving it in the little box. I wonder how much these are. You get 75 mils of the perfume. I'm not gonna butcher the, the name, <laughs> but how gorgeous is that? I can't believe that. Ooh, <laughs> that, almost, that almost went on my nose, I think. I love stars. If anyone doesn't know, I am the biggest star fan for many reasons. All my jewellery has stars on it. I've got my little star earrings and moons. I love anything space themed essentially. My favourite band or my like, yeah, I suppose my favourite band is McFly and they obviously have the song Star Girl. It all sort of ties in together, I suppose. Um, yeah, I love star things. I was that kid. I had a I had a star book, no, I had a, a space in earth book when I was little. It was this big, massive, like thick, huge, huge book, like bigger than you can see on the screen right now. So think like this big. And used to, this was my favorite book. It just told you everything about earth and space, all about stars, all about planets. I just loved it, loved it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm the little star girl. Yeah, so I am definitely getting some Christmas presents from John Lewis this year. I sometimes forget to to go around John Lewis, to be honest, and like sample things. And that is how you discover new products, rather than ordering online and get a real feel for the products. The people that you speak to are so passionate and it just makes you want to try it. And I don't know, there's just something about the quality, the premium brands. It's so nice to have. Actually, at my last um, beauty event with John Lewis, it's where I bought my Becca products. The backlight priming filter that I use and uh, my Be A Light palette, which if you've watched my current um, everyday makeup routine, you will see. They're my, I love them so much. Those two products I love together. And I do wear that Be A Light palette every single day uh, when I wear makeup, of course, which isn't as much now because we are stuck inside most of the time. But yeah, so. That's my little John Lewis day out. Oh, look at it. I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> I am in my element. I want to go have a little pamper session now and try out some new products, try out some new skincare. I highly recommend going along to your local John Lewis and asking, they're asking for their advice. That's what they're there for. They're more than happy to help you out if you want to be color matched, if you want to speak about products that are gonna benefit your skin. That is what they're there for. They want to, they want to help you essentially. Um, oh yeah, this is another one. The Rituals Body Gel and Body Scrub and Shiver Gel. So, hmm. I will save that for my new house. Even the freaking Dior applicator is cute. Like, yeah, go along, see what they've got to say. They will give you recommendations. They're not gonna speak rubbish to you, do you know what I mean? These brands have, they, they know what they're doing. Yeah, if you've got a beauty lover in your life, then, or for yourself, if you wanna treat yourself. I certainly want to go treat myself now. <laughs> I wanna buy everything. Yeah, highly recommend. But I think I've blabbered on enough for now. I will see you guys tomorrow. Sunday.
sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. It's hard to sort of... Yeah. I'm on my phone for a change. Um, I haven't got my camera with me. I'm currently with my puppy. He, We've just been on our walk. It's a bit of a dreek day, so he's a bit soggy now. So I'm looking forward to cuddles. He's so funny. I'll show you him in a second. But I thought I'd just give you a quick update. So when I say it's been such a chill weekend, um, but it's been actually really nice. I think it's exactly what I've needed. I'm saying that I have been out and about, sort of at random shops, um, loading things into the tip and yeah, like all that sort of fun stuff. But today I actually did finalise my kitchen and we got it ordered. So my kitchen's been ordered. That's very exciting. So it comes in January, the end of January. So I mean, I, I kind of expect that obviously we're needing Christmas now. Oh, hello. Thank you. Um, so we're needing Christmas now. So I kind of expected that it was gonna, gonna take that it was going to take that long to come but that's fine because like I said my sofa doesn't come till March anyway I don't think my I'm getting new windows and doors and I don't think the windows come till February maybe month, January February so it would be like February March by the time I moved in anyway it's all sort of it's all sort of fine but I will show you the design at some point it was from B&Q and their design like the actual visuals that you get aren't that great so it might be a case of I don't actually show you it um, and just describe it um no, I, I will show you it. It's just, you won't get, you don't really get a clear vision of what it's going to look like without seeing the products in store and things because the design's pretty naff, to be honest. It's like not the right colours and things like that. Like it looks off, slightly off, but um, basically I've gone for like a grey kitchen, a matte style door. I wanted something, I originally wanted a shaker style kitchen, but I decided against it. And I've just gone for like a matte smooth finish. Um, which I thought would be easy clean, things like that. I've gone for marble style worktops. I wasn't gonna go originally marble, I was gonna go wooden style worktops, but I want wooden floors and I thought the types of woods I like are very similar and I couldn't get anything that sort of is gonna be too much wood essentially. So for the marble worktop, the puppy stared at me like, what the hell are you doing speaking to your phone? <laughs> His balls got under the table and he's like, mom, can you help me please? <laughs> I'll come and help you in a second. The, the kitchen worktop will be white marble. I've got a black sink and black tap. I did think there, I've, I've, I love the look of black sinks and black taps. So I was like, do you know what? Like it could go out of fashion, but it looks really freaking cool. And I just want to be happy with my kitchen. Yeah, a black sink and a black tap's very me. So I don't know if that's your style. It's definitely, it's, I love it. I think it looks so cool. I just think it ties it all really nicely and together. Um, I'm gonna bring in touches of green. I don't know if I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that I want green throughout my house. So there's gonna be like green touches, maybe with like the dish towels and things like that. What's wrong? Yeah, so that's that's kind of my kitchen design. I'll obviously show you the finished result once it's done, but that won't be till like February. Um, I'll probably show you the designs as well, just so you get a little bit of an idea. There's gonna be a breakfast bar. Yeah. Integrate all the integrated appliances, dishwasher, fridge, and um, even the extractor fan's gonna be integrated, so it's behind a cupboard. Just we're gonna look really nice and clean and rustic wood floors. I am excited. I'm gonna go help my dog now because he has been like, Mom, I can't get my ball. Would you help me please? Um, so I'm gonna go help him. But yeah, that's the update for now. You gonna tell me what it is? No? Under here? Under the table. Is that what it is? <laughs> Can I get a paw? Paw? Thank you. Okay, I'll get your ball. This one? Is that it? Good boy. That was nice. Well, bye then. You got it back. Yeah, that's him. Sorted. And yeah, I think that's it for this vlog. Um, I'm just gonna go spend some time with my dog, you know? Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Casper. What is? But yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little vlog. I hope it's not been too boring this week. I did go to the, the beauty event, so that's something. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!